Hello, welcome back to my channel, Qubit Educational Services. In this video, we will be solving the seventh question from the ICER Aptitude Test Mock Paper 1. This question is based on uh, discrete probability. A and B are playing a game by alternately rolling a die with A starting first. Each player's score is the number obtained on his last roll. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, from the second statement onwards, the, the game has been described. Each player's score is the number obtained on his last roll. Okay. The game ends when the sum of the scores of the two players is 7. Okay. And the last, and the last player to roll the die wins. What is the probability that A wins the game? 11 by 36, 5 by 11, 17 by 36 and 6 by 11. Alright. Now, the first thing that you should note here is, whenever... Uh, two dice are being rolled simultaneously or the same die if, if the same die is being rolled one after the other the total number of outcomes possible is 36 because a definitely cannot win on on his very first or on her very first die okay because uh, on his very first uh, roll because the score that uh, that is required for winning is seven okay so on the first roll a clearly cannot win because the maximum score that he or she can get is 6. Alright. Now, in out of those 36 outcomes, okay, how many outcomes have the addition 7? Okay. So, if, if you want the total score to be 7, then there are 6, six such outcomes. Okay. What? Which 6? 1 plus 6, 6 plus 1, 2 plus 5, 5 plus 2, 3 plus 4, and 4 plus 3. Okay. So, which means out of 36, okay, there are six outcomes which lead to a victory for that player and there are 30 other outcomes which which give the the next player a chance all right so we have we are now required to model this mathematically to give or to give an infinite series which is a geometric progression and we can just add the probabilities to get the answer all right as, as i told you earlier a can never win on his very first attempt because the maximum score that a is going to get is 6 which is less than 7 which is required which is the winning score all right so what is the probability that a wins on the third roll okay now now third means a is the a is rolling first then b second and then again a. okay now this means definitely b cannot win on his second or on his first and overall second roll yes so the probability that b doesn't win is 5 by 6 right and you have to multiply this by the probability that a wins on the third roll and this number one by six comes from the fact that out of 36 outcomes six outcomes will lead to the the winning score that is seven and six by 36 is one by six okay and clearly 30 by 36 is five by six okay so suppose uh, a doesn't win on the third roll suppose he gets a, gets a chance on the fifth roll so what does it mean it means b has again failed to win okay in the overall fourth roll yes so second third and fourth and b is going to win on the well a is going to win on the fifth roll and so on okay see now the first uh, roll is a material okay so all these uh, products that that you can see these are the probabilities of uh, okay these are the probabilities starting from the second overall roll or the first roll of b all right yes so by the addition theorem, if you just add these probabilities, now clearly this is going to lead us to an infinite series, okay? Because we can never tell on which role is A going to win or B going to win, all right? So the probability that A wins is, the probability that he wins on the third, he wins on the fifth, he wins on the seventh and so on. And every time you will find that uh, the common ratio five by six raised to two Okay, you, every time you have to multiply the probability by 25 by 36. All right, I mean, that is how the system is, has been designed. All right, so you can take one upon six into five upon six common, and then you will get a GP, okay, with, with uh, first term one and the common difference five by six raised to two. All right, so because this GP is, it, it, well, this GP has common ratio uh, positive but less than one you can very easily use the formula one upon one minus r into a but again don't worry about the first term even because that is also one okay yes so if you do it it will be 5 by 36 into 1 upon 11 by 36 this one 
and that will lead to cancellation of the address x and the required probability will be 5 by 11 which is option b right yes option b so uh, a pretty simple problem but uh, see all all it, it, it everything again boils down to the way you you think of approaching the problem okay so what we did is see everyone knows that whenever two dice are rolled uh, or one I, one die is rolled twice the total number of outcomes is 36 and out of which seven uh, six outcomes will be such that they are going to produce a total score of seven okay but the main part comes the next okay where you you try to write down when can or what is the probability that a wins on the third roll then a wins on the fifth roll and so on okay and once you locate or identify the pattern uh, go to the geometry progression use the formula and get the probability okay yes so this is 37th uh, thank you for watching in the next video we will go to 38